Have you paid your rent online and it's still processing after a few days? Is your landlord wondering where's the rent? I'll tell you next. Hi, this is Greg with Tenant Tag. Paying your rent online can be real convenient, but it can be slow. It can take three to five business days for the landlord to actually receive the rent. As I explained to you why in the video, if you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comment section below. And while you're down there, if you like what you see, please subscribe to the channel. Also, so you don't miss out on anything, we have included show notes in the description section below so you can check those out too. Now what is up with slow online rent payment? If you've run into this problem, you're most likely making an ACH payment, which means automated clearinghouse, which you really don't need to worry about. Now to use ACH, the landlord and the tenant both have to set up accounts with the same payment software company like Cozy, Tenant Cloud, there's a bunch of these. Now these companies allow you to pay your rent using credit cards, debit cards, and ACH payments. Often your landlord will have already picked a software company that they're using and will let you know the information when you move in so you can set up your account and get ready to pay your rent online. Now when you're setting up an account, you're gonna to have to provide your nine digit bank routing number. It can be on a check, but it's nine digits. It's like the bank address. And then your account number also. The landlord has to do the same thing. It basically matches your accounts up with the property that you're renting. So once you've set up your account, you're ready to make a rent payment. The rent payment process takes four steps from you to the landlord. Step number one is you're gonna submit a rent payment through the software platform like you normally would do. It's important to note that with ACH payments, money is not immediately pulled out of your account like a debit card. Basically processing happens at the end of the day, so nothing's gonna happen until then. So if you make a payment at nine in the morning, nothing's gonna happen until late afternoon. Basically, your bank takes all of the ACH payments from all its customers, batches them together, and then they get processed at around five o'clock in the afternoon every business day, Monday through Friday, not on the weekends. So if you make a payment at six o'clock on Friday, nothing's gonna happen with that until Monday afternoon. The system will show it processing, but really nothing is happening until Monday. So you can see how things can get delayed based on what day you submit your payment and what time. Now in step two, the payment does not go directly to the landlord, but is collected by the software company. Basically this happens the business day after you submitted your payment through the platform. So if you submitted your payment at three o'clock on a Thursday, then they'll be processing your payment on Friday. Now step three, you would think the payment would go directly to the landlord, but that's not the case. The payment software company is gonna hold the payment for two business days to make sure there's no problems with your bank. Is there insufficient funds? Is there a lien on your wages for some reason? They wanna make sure there are no problems before sending that money to the landlord because what they want to avoid is sending the payment to the landlord and then having to go back and pull the money back because there was a problem. So they're going to hold that money for two days just to make sure everything is okay. Now in step four, once the payment is considered safe and good, the payment platform deposits those monies in the landlord's account. The system shows paid instead of processing and everybody's happy. But now you know why an ACH rent payment can take three to five business days, but it could take longer based on weekends, bank holidays, all that kind of stuff. The most extreme example I can think of is when the 4th of July is on a Monday. You pay your rent Friday, say at seven o'clock. Goes through the weekend, nothing's happening to the payment. Monday's a bank holiday, nothing is happening. Your bank doesn't even look at your submittal until Tuesday at five o'clock. Then the software company's not processing until Wednesday. Then they're holding the payment Thursday and Friday to make sure nothing's wrong. You got another weekend, nothing's happening there. The landlord doesn't receive their payment until Monday, July 11th, nine days after you submitted your payment. They're going crazy, the system shows processing, but their money is not there, and they're calling saying, what is going on? Now you know. So I hope you enjoyed the video. If you liked it, please give us a like. If you want to share this with a friend, please share it. If you have any questions, ideas, comments, please leave them in the comments section below. If you want to subscribe to the channel, you can do it right up here. And if you want to check out some of our other videos about the rental process, you can do so right down here too. Thanks for watching. We'll see you soon.